Hey guys, my name is Jade Wee and welcome to Dallas Jamming. In this video, I wanted to talk about why I quit social media. It's been like almost maybe six months. I don't know, maybe a little more, a little less. I haven't really kept count because it's been so freeing. It's honestly one of the best things that I've done. I felt like Facebook especially had such a grab on my soul that it was like destroying me. And I know that this is a personal issue. I know that not everybody has the same experience with social media, but I just wanted to share my thoughts on it and my experience with it because I know that I'm not the only person that feels this way. So I started using Facebook Facebook when I was 14 years old, right after MySpace. You guys already know how it went for most of us. And at first it was like so exciting, you know, you get to talk to your friends, this and that. And then eventually it just like became your whole life, right? Like you're just constantly checking it. You don't even know the people on there. You're getting on typing wars over political nonsense and just a bunch of garbage because that's really what it is. It is the biggest time waster of our generation. It is what steals our peace and our ability to constantly concentrate and honestly leaving social media has just like made me a whole different person like I don't want to say quitting social media has been like the only change that I've made in my life but it was definitely one of the biggest one looking at my phone and not seeing like four to five to six hours of screen time wasted just like checking Instagram and Facebook has brought me like peace in my life because it lets me know that like I'm not wasting my time. And that was like my biggest thing that I felt when I was on social media. Like I used it, but I hated using it. Like every time that I checked it, I just felt like crap. And there's a lot of like studies. If you guys haven't watched The Social Dilemma on Netflix, definitely check it out super awesome that was like the final push that i needed to delete my accounts because like i've been wanting to do it forever and there's always this fear like oh maybe people will stop listening to my music maybe people will stop watching my videos but in reality that stuff was stealing so much time from me that like once i got rid of all that stuff i've been able to focus more on creating content and doing me and really like living my life in my own terms because i feel like that's what social media does like it takes your concentration like constantly checking and it's not like a personal flaw because like at first you think like oh maybe there's something wrong with me like why can I not stop checking this and no like they've designed this <laughs> in this way they want you there like you know they pay billions of dollars to people to figure out like the psychology behind how to make your phone a tiny slot machine because that's really what it is every time that you pick it up it's like oh hey oh hey oh hey and it's like such a distraction and really leaving social media has freed me in a way and I just wanted to share that with you guys because if you're thinking about it and for some reason you think you can't like why why do you think you can't it's not the end of the world I think it's brought me closer to like my real friends instead of wasting time on relationships that don't matter and I'm not gonna say that every single person you meet online is like a waste of time because I have made friends online and like I still talk to them now at a more personal level and without social media so I'm not saying that it's impossible to make friends and maintain like a relationship but at the end of the day you should really be feeding your real relationships not focusing on fake ones or ones with people that you're probably never gonna meet and there's also a negativity that comes with like social media anybody can say anything and like you can let it get to you and you end up spending so much time and energy on like a person that doesn't even matter so like why waste your time and energy doing something that you don't enjoy doing when you could spend that time creating. So I don't use Facebook, I don't use Instagram, and the funny thing is, you know, they're both owned by the same person. So, you know, you can say, oh, hey, I quit Facebook, but I'm still using Instagram, or hey, I don't use Instagram, but I use Facebook. It's the same thing, even WhatsApp, like they're all owned by the devil. So pick your poison. How do you want to spend your time? Do you want to spend your whole day scrolling, doing this, or do you want to spend your whole day playing keys? Figure out what your priorities are. Use your time to grow your track record. Make some music, release some music. So maybe you're wondering, Jade, has this affected your fan base has this affected your growth like are you getting more subscribers are people actually watching your videos how are people gonna know you exist um, yeah it's going good honestly my YouTube channel is doing the best that it ever has and that's because I'm putting the time in it like I said I'm not wasting time worried about what other people are saying about me I'm just doing me and you know that's what you should be doing too that's it guys take care stay fly and I'll catch you in the next one